Hey folks, uh, Damon at Black Warrior Lures giving you an update on the Fishing Tackle Studio. Finally got our lathe in. The Rikon, I forget the actual model number. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a half horsepower motor. This thing is way bigger than it is than it looks like on the uh, on the on the website. I got this from Woodcraft.com. And uh, and uh, my goodness, it's uh, pretty robust. I mean, it's not. It is like iron. <laughs> We're gonna, you know, got it on this table. Oh, and uh, oops, get it off that cord there. Oh man, I didn't realize I was doing that. But anyway, a couple of things. Um, it's obvious that this is a crack right here. See how it was just cracked like that? Someone had dropped it. There's a crack running along that edge there, but it holds. If that's the only damage, then fine. I haven't plugged it up or anything like that. Um, uh, but uh, but that's a little, again, a little disheartening. Uh, but, again, um, here's the, uh, oh yeah, here's the live center there. Again, we'll be taking pieces of wood here, using it to turn our... Uh, Flotation material for our corks from now on. We'll probably still carry the wine corks because people seem to really like that. But, but anyway, that's the live center there. Seems pretty well made. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's made in China, uh, you know. But uh, I forget what this unit was. I may give you some specs, a little bit other, another segment of it. I'm probably I'm probably gonna bolt it down to this table, even though it's uh, this is a this is um, this is like a computer desk. But pff, instead of building a bench, I'm probably just gonna use this table as a stand. Uh, we may need to turn this around some uh, because if we build a fishing rod, we we'll run up against that wall, and um, and so you have your on-off switch here. And um, unless we just turn this around somehow and just have myself some open space back there. We have our paints here still. Uh, have sort of a whatever kind of desk there for whatever. Probably, probably going to end up taking that out in some way. And we still got all this stuff here to, to deal with. And as you can see, windows are open. We have our, um, up there is our, uh, you can see our, um, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> the fishing gauge or whatever, or barometer or whatever, and we have our float still there. If you guys want them, if you want to try one out, I can ship you one out if you just click the link below, but, um, and, uh, hmm, not sure what that, that is. Like a mounting plate for the motor, I guess. There's a nice handle there. It's just pretty, pretty hefty unit. And this is what I plan to do to, this is what I plan on using when I start using uh, my fishing rods, turning fishing rods as well on this unit out of wood and laminate with fiberglass. And uh, this motor is substantial, it's a half horsepower, but it is, it seems, those heat fins seem substantial, so, um, my gosh, a lot of guys I think buy this unit for turning pins and stuff, and I don't think this was even the smallest unit they had, but uh, they have bed extensions here but I'm not going to worry about that I'll just get a camera tripod that I can use alright guys we're done here everything set up got our tool stock on here we can tighten that down a little got our tail stock our tool rest we got our head stock here with the live center and all that now so let's give her a run it's running <laughs> So now we got to try to, we don't have any kind of tools or anything really, but, uh, but uh, the cool thing I like about this is you can just position this whatever way you need. It's fairly quiet. It's that little hum there. And here's a cool thing about this. You see the diagram here. This, you can change gears basically. You can loosen it up here. 
change your gears um, probably need to have the motor uh, unplugged when I do this but still uh, let's see I can get that done now so you have to manually um, do this so again you can just raise the motor up like that and that inverts it that was the fastest setting there that'll be fine like that let's try that much slower see all you did was invert the gear ratio this is more torque the other one was higher speeds um, and so there you go um, still pretty quiet and so now we can start taking some of those uh, tree branches up there mount these suckers in here we need to go get us some tools and we can start turning this like now we don't have to wait <laughs> we can do this now but anyway so that works sort of a safety switch there I'm not sure remove to lock I'm not sure what that means uh, uh, I don't want to lock it but I just and so there you go and then um, you turn that off you can uh, you know take the you know so let's try one that's somewhere halfway between right so it's just like you know the gears on a on a on a mountain bike or something, right? See, so you can incrementally work your way down. You know, put there's a the cover there, so it works despite the little mishap there, whatever that was. Probably happened during shipping. This is your uh, stock, your lock. It's the spindle lock. It'll actually lock the spindle in place. You can put it top dead center there. And that locks it. But don't turn the motor on because you'll just you'll just ruin everything. Always make sure that's the first thing you need. Know, disengage spindle lock before turning the machine on. So you don't have to back it all the way back out, but just you have to have it way deep down in there for it to engage. So and there you go. So, once we do that, hands are kind of dirty. Um, so now we have that. Now let's see what this thing will do once we get some uh, actual wood on this thing. All right, guys. Damon at Black Warrior Lures getting ready to use the lathe for the first time. Don't have any lathing tools, so what we're going to use is a Memora knife that one of the one that Scott Douglas over at uh, Barber Buddy sent to me. We're going to use that just for some experimentation until we can get some better lathing turning tools in. One of the things I wanted to look at, show you, is the quality of the wood. This is a fairly fresh piece of wood that I found on the ground outside. You see how it's hollow, but you see this is an old piece that's sort of beginning to rot out from the interior. And so these are the kinds of woods that we're going to be using to sort of experiment and replace the. Um, the uh, wine corks and so what we're gonna do is put this in here and start going with it so and I've just taken these pieces from a long piece and chopped them off as you can see the the knots I cut those out and and just squared it up to these nice little pieces like this about a foot long or so and here we have a lot of distance but, uh, but um, you know in terms of just the sheer amount of distance and so what we're doing here is you know just uh, learning how to use the lathe. Oh, come on now. So that's the good thing about this whole thing is that it really does um, works pretty well. So, uh. there's our live center, and make sure that's out and. So there we go there. Headgear. Well, <laughs> yeah. so that was just some eye protection. Looks like we're on the wrong side of this or something.
we definitely got to get some tools but see the idea is I could take this little nine inch piece and get one you know one two three you know maybe four pieces of, uh, of, of flotation out of it and just shaping it down here maybe three or four but in any way this is not the proper tools in fact that's what I need to go buy next is just a set of tools See how that works. Not very graceful, not very good, even. Um, but you know, that's what happens when you're uh, learning. Uh, let's see here. I think this is put it on like the lowest, lowest setting here. This is like changing gears on a 10 speed bicycle. Okay. So that's the next step. I, I just remember that you know I'm ordering a bunch of new tools and things now, and so having to. Uh, oh come on now! Give me all this trouble. And that tensions it up. And that locks it tight. Test. Oh. Wrong direction. <laughs> Wrong direction. Ooh, and there's the belt there. Okay, come on now. Get out of this trouble. Alright, so there's that. There's that. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to cut a lot of this video out. <laughs> we're still sort of learning everything. That's the beauty about this stuff, you're always learning something new. And I like learning. Okay, so there's that. that there. So as you can see, <laughs> we're just totally butchering this piece, but this is kind of the process I go through when I'm learning anything new. I just have to do it a bunch of times until I can get it right. I can see right now that what I'm going to, I'm just going to have to order the, the turning tools that I'm going to need in order to make this work. But I'm, I'm actually surprised at how well this chuck holds it in place and uh, the live center is, is just doing very well. It's just sort of neat. But again, we got this bit going okay. And so, yeah, so now we're getting down to the meat of the of the branch there, and I don't mind that. It's just again, sandpaper would totally make a lot of that come here. As you can see I'm trying to get a you know cigar kind of shape. So roughing it like that, I think I would need to just go with the very lowest setting. It looks ugly right now, but hey, we're just starting out and we don't have the right tools. So that's the next goal, is just to buy the proper tools. This little Mora knife is already very dull, <laughs> just from that little bit here. And we have plenty. And this is the basic method I would use to build the fishing rods as well. And so you just kind of rough it there. We get our we get a vacuum cleaner shop back and clean all that dust up. but. But uh, there you have it, the first turning. I mean, you should see some of the things. Anytime I'm doing something new, it always turns out sort of ugly and like that. And then by the time you guys see it, I've refined the process and gone through many different iterations. And 
and the, and what you guys see as a final product is something that's actually quite very 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 different than what you're seeing right here. But anyway, that's the first. And I just figured I'd let you guys know. Uh, so this is sort of, I guess, a review of the Recon. I guess this is the 7100 lathe. I'm liking it so far. That's just iron. <coughs> the motor on this thing is far more substantial than I thought it would be. And so I just need to get some, uh, just some basic tools uh, to turn this with. And that'll uh, be it. So that's, that's what we're going to go do now. And so if you guys are interested in one of these, I got this from woodcraft.com. And, uh, and hopefully we can go from something that's ugly as that to something that will turn out a piece of flotation material that would look similar to this float right here. Something about an inch and a half, two inches long, preferably more like about an inch in diameter, uh, like an inch, inch and a quarter in diameter, probably a similar diameter to the wood itself that you're seeing. A lot more flotation, in other words, and a lot more weight, therefore it cast a lot further. But anyway, there you go. Lathing for fishing tackle. See ya.